You may know our next guest from shows like Eagle Heart and NCIS, and at only 17 years old, oh, 17, this Hollywood actress <laughs> is just getting started. Here to discuss the new season of the hit series, Mom is Sadie Calvano. Hello. Hello. So Mom is about a single mom who's a bit of a hot mess. <laughs> <laughs> Say that again. Drugs, alcohol, the whole thing, but she decides that she wants to restart her whole life. Mm -hmm. And you play? I play Anna Faris's daughter. The daughter. Yeah. So. Yeah, and so, you're on with Anna Faris and Allison Janney. Mm -hmm. What's it been like to work with them? And the show's been a huge hit. I mean, Allison Thank Janney you. won an Emmy for goodness sake. Yeah. So What's exciting. it like to be on a hit show? It has been. And you can't even drink. <laughs> and you can't even vote. <laughs> it's been such a whirlwind. I mean, to be honest with you, the whole thing feels kind of surreal. Like someone will come up to me and say, oh my gosh, I love your show. We watch every week. And it takes me a minute to kind of register it because I forget that like people can see this and like it's real, like it's happening for real. And so it's so wild. But I got so lucky to work with such an amazing, talented, humble, funny group every day and to get to play and call that a job is ridiculous. And how does it feel to give birth on national television <laughs> in front of everyone? <laughs> Well, it makes for a good story, right? right. <laughs> I don't plan on doing that. No, no, no. <laughs> what was it like for you? I mean, I have a real life bump. You wore a fake bump. What was that prosthetic like? Heavy. Yeah. <laughs> I know, sister. Yeah, it's um, a good thing that I got to take it off the end of the day. I really right. believe that that is the best form of birth control ever. <laughs> um, but uh, it was it was crazy. It's really hard for me at the beginning mm. because it's difficult to do some to bring truth to that when really I've never experienced it, mm -hmm. you know. So that for me was a little bit difficult. But I think the things that made it easier were that although I haven't had a child, I felt love mm -hmm. and I felt lost and I felt scared, mm -hmm. and so that for me has made it easier and having two wonderful women that are so kind and so helpful and make it feel like such a safe space yeah. has been so wonderful. Well, what can we expect this season now that you're a mom? Yeah. <laughs> There's three moms on the show now. Yeah. Go figure. Okay. Um, season two has so much coming for you. We start off the season homeless, so we don't waste any time getting crazy. And Jamie Presley makes a big appearance on our show. She's wonderful. So lots to come. Now, do you get to do normal teenage things, like go to the mall and go to football <laughs> games and things like that? Yeah, okay. I'm actually out here right now because I was touring colleges. Ooh. Really? So, yeah, I try to make time. How are you going to balance college with your acting career? Right now, it's putting one foot in front of the other. And mm -hmm. I think an important mindset is taking it one step at a time. For me, education is really important. And, and charity is also big for mm -hmm. you. Bags for Kids, talk to us about that really quickly. And yeah. take us to the end of the show, girl. Bags for Kids is so wonderful. I got involved with it when I was like 13, mm -hmm. right after my bat mitzvah project. Oh. <laughs> I ended up sticking with it. And now I'm their national spokesperson. Wow. It's a wonderful organization that creates these bags using new and old backpacks and stuffing them with toothbrushes, journals, coloring books, cameras, clothing, anything that you can think of to give these kids that are getting into foster care something that brings comfort in a really uncomfortable situation. Such a great job. You Continue the great work. Today, yes. Thank you. Thank you so much. And we can catch you every yeah. Thursday night on CBS at 8.30. Yes. And Mom, thank you so much. Thank you. We'll see you tomorrow.